Hello everybody, this is Snapchat of Soul and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a shirt in Body Shop without it looking like crap. And um, we start off with Body Shop, just it's just loaded up. And uh, you want to go to Create Parts, start a new project, create clothing. And um, it might take a little bit to load, uh, depending on how long that Body Shop takes to load for you. Now that we have that loaded up, I'm going to be making a shirt for Team Mail, and um, you can make a shirt for anybody with this tutorial. It's not dependent on anything. Um, but I'm just doing that because it was the one that I had ready to go. But you know, let's just have a cookie crumbles. And um, what you want to do is you want to find an appropriate shirt base. So we're just going to load up one that I already have. Once you have your shirt base selected and exported, you want to go to Documents, EA Games, the Sims 2 Projects, and then under Projects, you will find your shirt base. Now you're going to see a lot of files here, a lot of image files, and you want to make sure that you have your view set to extra large so that you know what you're doing. And generally, this is the one that you want. And um, for this tutorial, I'm using GIMP 2.4. This is not a Photoshop tutorial. So we put that and we drag it and we drop it on skin. So you have your base and you're not really sure what to do with it. What you want to do is you want to immediately hit layer, new layer. And you want to make sure that it's set to transparency. Hit OK. And um, if you don't have this window right here, you want to hit Control L and it will just pop right up. See, watch. And um, make sure that you click on the new layer and hit multiply right away. And uh, this is very important because this is the filter that we use to make a good shirt. Okay, now that that's settled, you want to be able to find a source image. You don't want anything like this because it's too ruffled and it's just too complicated. I could probably work with that, but a lot of people come in and they just come out looking really weird. So you want something that is a solid image and not already on a real life shirt. You drag and you drop that, and it will open. And as you can see, you have your image. Now what you want to do is you want to hit Control A, Control C, and click on your shirt, and paste it. Then you want to just drag it over, and as you can see, it's far too big. So you want to go Shift T, and then you'll see the scale option here. And if you click this, it makes it a lot easier for newbies to kind of you know, get used to scaling because it links the width and the height. So that way everything looks okay. And you kind of want to get it so that it fits within the constraints of the shirt or else it will look weird. And the front is always on the right side. The left side is usually the back. However, if you're working with a 3 to 2 conversion, that is from the sensory to the Sims 2, it might be a little bit different. So you want to position that as best as you can. It's okay. Don't worry about it if it's not perfect. And you just want to click anywhere on the image. What you have here is that you have this coloration that it doesn't look really good, right? So what you want to do is you want to hit O. And then select the color of the background of the image. So, and there you go. And now you want to hit U. So that everything else is selected. And just click anywhere on that layer that isn't the actual image. And you want to drag and you drop. And there you go, it looks okay. However, we're going to zoom in here. And as you can see, there's a bit of a color difference. To solve this, it's very, very easy. What you want to do is you want to go and you want to hit U again. This is the select tool for anyone who doesn't know. And you want to click so that it kind of encompasses the entire image. And if you have missing spots like these, what you want to do is that you want to up the threshold. And there you go. And what this does is that you can drag and you can drop your colors and it will change it to look good. And you want to hit Ctrl S to save it. It's very, very simple. And hit refresh in Body Shop. And there you go, you have your t-shirt. Voila. That's it. That's all you gotta do.